Is that old laptop you got as a hand-me-down from Granny getting a little bit too slow? Or maybe you already have a blazing fast gaming laptop that you want to upgrade even further. Well, in any case, today I'll be showing you how to upgrade your laptop. Keep in mind that there are a lot of different laptops out there, so I'm going to try to keep this video as general as possible. But overall, the processes shown in this video are pretty consistent across different types of models. So let's get right into it. Of course, first off, you'll have to open up your laptop. But this is certainly not the same for every model. Please check beforehand if your laptop even has upgradable parts, or else you might actually break something. Let's start by just turning your laptop on its back. Some older laptops have very accessible components. They'll have a little door or plate on the back with one or two screws that can easily be opened up. Most of the time you'll find upgradable storage or even some RAM in there, just ready to be upgraded. These can easily be clicked out or screwed out and be replaced. Hell, most old laptops even had an easily upgradable battery. But in the year 2025, laptops have become impossibly thin. And this easy upgradability has unfortunately become a thing of the past. Unless you have a framework laptop or something. Some bigger modern laptops are still upgradable though. But you might have to do some screwing around. Most laptops have a back panel with a lot of screws holding it in. These can either be pretty accessible screws like Phillips heads, which most people have a screwdriver for, or very specific screws like pentalobes or other proprietary ones. For these types, you might need to buy a specific type of screwdriver. Don't worry though, these are very cheap and pretty easy to find online. Let's start by just unscrewing every screw first. Please keep them organized though, and don't forget where each specific screw goes. Some screws might be longer or shorter, and you don't want to put the wrong screws in the wrong holes. Now that all the screws are out, we can take the back panel off. On some laptops this is very easy, but on others you either need to pry it open with a plastic tool, or you might even need to slide it open a specific way, like on some MacBooks. After we take the panel off, we can see the motherboard. Now first of all, and I cannot stress this enough, Unplug your battery before doing anything inside of the laptop. Some laptops disable the battery by themselves when you take the back panel off, but still unplug it just to be sure. If you prod or poke anything with a metal screwdriver, you can short something if the battery is still attached. Also make sure that your hands are dry and don't work near anything that can be wet. Electronics don't like water obviously. Let's start by upgrading your laptop's storage. Every laptop either has a hard drive or an SSD. A hard drive looks like a silver colored rectangle and it has moving parts in it. An SSD can be either one of the following two. It's either a SATA SSD, which is also a little rectangle, but most of the times it's black and a lot lighter, or it can look like this little stick with chips on it, which is an M.2 SSD. First, you need to check if your laptop even has the extra space for an extra SSD or hard drive. You can pretty easily spot this by a big empty space in your laptop or an empty M.2 slot, which looks like this. If your laptop does not have an extra empty slot for more storage, you can only really replace your current storage. This process is a lot more complicated since you need to reinstall Windows and put all the drivers on the laptop, so I will not be covering it in this video. Putting new storage in your laptop is pretty easy though. With a hard drive or SATA SSD, you can just attach it to the connector right here and sometimes you have to screw it in as well. If you have an M.2 SSD, you just position it at an angle and then slot it in, like so. Once it's slotted in all the way, you can just press it down and screw it in with this tiny little screw that came with your laptop. Sometimes you have to buy this screw separately, but they're really cheap. Once you've done that, you've pretty much upgraded your storage. Sometimes your laptop doesn't recognize the new drive though. In that case, you have to turn on your laptop and type in disk management and open it. And then look for a drive over here that says not allocated. Right click this and press new simple volume. Then just keep clicking next until it's done and voila, your drive works. If your drive doesn't show up in the disk management program, it might be that you didn't insert it all the way and you need to redo this process. Now let's get on to upgrading the memory or RAM. Not every laptop has upgradable RAM, but you'll notice that pretty quickly. If your laptop has these slots with the little sticks on them, 
you can easily upgrade the RAM. It's very important that you first look up which RAM stick your laptop is compatible with. You've got DDR, DDR2, DDR3, DDR4 and DDR5. And this RAM also has different speeds which can go all the way up to like 7000 megahertz. Do not mix up random speeds and RAM types because it may cause instability or it might not even work. Sometimes these RAM sticks are stacked on top of each other and sometimes they're just next to each other. You can release them by pulling apart these little tabs and gently pulling on the sticks. To insert the new sticks, put them in at an angle like this first and then gently push them down. On some laptops you have to insert them at a straight angle but most of the times it's like this. And now you've upgraded your RAM, that's pretty much it. Now some laptops also have upgradable Wi-Fi cards. This is great for if you want to go from an older standard like Wi-Fi 5 or 6 to a newer one. And these are pretty easy to upgrade. It looks a little bit like an M.2 SSD, but it's a lot shorter and it has these two antenna cables leading to it. First, detach the two antenna cables by using your nails and just pulling up at the metal part here. Then you can unscrew the Wi-Fi card. Then you can simply take it out just like with the M.2 SSD. Then you insert the new Wi-Fi card at a slight angle and gently push it down. Then you can screw it in with that same screw. And then you can attach the cables to the new Wi-Fi card. Keep in mind that you need to put them in in the same order that they were before though. Don't mix these up. And that is it for the Wi-Fi card. While you're inside your laptop, it might be a good idea to clean it up a bit. Especially when you have an old laptop, there's a good chance that its fans or vents are clogged up with dust, which can really impact performance and temperatures. So just gently clean the dust off of it with a soft brush, or use a can of compressed air to blow it away. Don't turn this can of compressed air upside down though. This can cause for some bad stuff. If your laptop temperatures are high, there's also a chance you have to repaste the thermal paste. After a long time, this stuff can dry up, which can really affect a laptop's performance and heat output. This process can be really complicated though, especially since there are so many types of different laptops. Some laptops don't even use thermal paste and actually use liquid metal, and you do not want to mess with that stuff. If you want to know how to repaste your laptop, look up a tutorial on your specific model because it's very different for each laptop and it'll probably be a lot safer. And that's pretty much it folks. I hope I could help some people with this guide. If you have any questions, please ask them in the comment section below and I will see you all in the next video. Bye bye. Oi Jeesuksen pillun karva, nyt särky kuorma. Oi vittu! Oi saatana! Pelkele! Oi vitu 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 v